Hi, this is Bob Pellerin, and today I'll be talking to you about another laptop. This is another Lenovo. This is an X1 Carbon 14-inch laptop. So let's go ahead and open it, take a quick look. This is a higher-end laptop for those of you out there who travel a lot, uh, who like to have something that's a uh, uh, little more rugged and very portable. Let's go ahead and open it up. By the way, if you like these videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. That really encourages us and helps us out. You'll notice there's very little in these boxes. So you've got the laptop, a little bit of paper, and the power supply, which is very nice and small. This is a 65 watt power supply. It is using USB-C to power the unit. So again, there's really not much. There's a wire to connect to it, and that is it. So apart from the small warranty and safety brochure on there, the rest is really the unit. So again, they're using more or less standard foam. As you can tell, you get a lot of power for such a small laptop. So let's go ahead break the safety seal on this again. And by again, I mean the second one. And so very quickly, as you can tell, this is uh, this is the matte black. And uh, it, it does seem to be, um, <laughs> leave fingerprints pretty easily. So this is what it looks like on the cover. Now, when you order these units, because I get a lot of questions, uh, things like, oh, I didn't get that processor, I didn't get that uh, disc, I, there's a whole lot of options. So when you order these, uh, you could go and choose different screens. So different SKUs or different part numbers will have different screens on here. Uh, this particular one, obviously they're all going to be 14 inch in this case. Now this particular one does come with um, what are the new Intel? This is an i7. The big thing is the screen, you could have touch screen or not. So again, when you order this, you have to make sure you get the proper screen. On the lower end ones, you will get a 14 inch screen with no touch and it's gonna be about 400 nits versus the higher end, which is gonna go up all the way to 500 nits. Now from a resolution point of view, on the lower end, you're looking at uh, 1920 by 1200, and the higher end goes all the way to 3840 by 2400. So not bad. So let, let's take a quick look. I mean, the keyboard itself is typical uh, Lenovo. It's got a nice rubbery feel that I appreciate. Um, apart from that, you've got the legacies, what I call it, little joystick here uh, from the old IBM ThinkPad days. Of course, you could also use the trackpad and the buttons. Um, it's early on when I first started, I actually thought this would be a problem. Maybe I would hit it or something while I was typing. You really don't. I have had zero problems with it. So the rest of the features, you'll see there is a built-in 720p camera right here on top. You'll notice that there is a, from a sound point of view, that you have a Dolby Atmos sound in here. So it should be decent. And apart from that, let's take a quick look around. Like I said, this is very light. It feels really good. And for those of you who like to drop things or like to hold things very flat, it does go completely flat. That is uh, one of the most requested questions I get for laptops is how far back does this go it doesn't go any further than this so you can't uh, do you know completely around and, and use it as a tablet or you know something like that but yeah it does go very flat uh, so this is a a, a gen 9 uh, unit so again it's got the latest features it has for example wi-fi has the 802.11 ax better known as wi-fi 6 so that will get you connected. Uh, Bluetooth, you have the 5.1. So again, there's a lot of, uh, of the latest features. So another note, uh, when selecting these, of course, you can select memory. Uh, this one here, for example, uh, came with 16 gigs, but you have a choice. So when you order these, you've got to select the memory and the drive. So you can go from 256 gigs all the way to one terabyte, 
And usually it's, depending on the part number you get, you'll see kind of a, a mix and match. So if you wanted higher end storage, you most likely would get more RAM. Uh, the lowest you can get on here, I believe is eight gigs. And that really is the lowest you should go for. If you can afford more, I certainly would recommend it. Uh, eight is, is very adequate for a lot of, uh, if you're doing uh, office work and that kind of stuff, or if you're doing uh, even Zoom videos, you'll be fine with it. The, um, so the processors, again, are the latest ones from Intel. This one's an i7, it's an 1165G7. So that's a four core at 2.8 gigahertz. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ports that we are offered. So in the back, there is actually nothing. <laughs> if we were to move to the side, you'll notice that you're getting a little more uh, ports. You've got HDMI, USB, and USB-C. There is nothing in the front as well. And on the other side, it's, it's relatively sparse. You've got headphone jack. This is to lock it and another USB. So that really all there is to it. Um, one of my other videos, I mentioned a docking station. So you can find that up there. That will fit on here if ever you wanna have extra ports. For example, you'll notice that there's nothing to plug a network cable into. So if you wanted to have wired gigabit ethernet, then you could use a docking station. You can also just get an adapter that goes from USB-C to something else. And of course, if you're gonna have external screens, you can also use these to connect apart from the HDMI that's on here. So you'll notice here at the back as well that there is a, there's some more sound here and you'll notice the ventilation, not only here on the very bottom, but I don't know if you can see that, but it is actually also, there's a little grill there at the very back. So hopefully that will keep it nice and cool, especially if you're putting it on your lap. I know a lot of laptops, um, for example, I know HP has, I find they have problems with heating when you put them on your lap. Uh, so this one hopefully will uh, work out better in slightly warmer conditions. The other thing too is this type of laptop uh, should go a long time. They're quoting 16.7 hours of use out of this laptop. So of course that is probably with the screen set relatively low and that's uh you know so there's ideal conditions in lab would give you that kind of durability on the road however it is nice to see that uh you know from the past where we had three four or five hours to all of a sudden we're starting to get really interesting numbers where you can actually take this work all day long on the road and not have to worry too much about the batteries that i know that's been my problem in the past as soon as you have anything that has any kind of power um you end up with problems and after a few hours you suddenly start having a problem not being able to continue to work. So so the uh, 57 watt hour uh, battery in here is uh, ample for the size and the power that is built in. The texture, just for those of you who are curious, is actually quite nice. It uh, feels a little rubberized as opposed to uh, some other models that uh, feel more plasticky. And um, yeah, I think this would be a, a good addition for anybody who needs to move around and carry their office with them while they work. So I'm Bob Peller and I thank you very much for watching the video. If you'd like to know more about us, visit us at www.ctobob.com. You'll find other things, my blog, for example. And of course, leave comments below. We really appreciate those. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.